In just a few short days, Vista will celebrate its 60th anniversary as an incorporated city. Anniversaries remind us not only of where we've been, but also where we're going. As Vistans, we look forward to the future, honor our history, and reflect on what makes Vista so special. Since my election to the City Council in 2014, and before that as a resident, I have personally witnessed the spirit of this city and the people and businesses that call it home. Looking back on our 59th year, let's take pride in the services provided to nearly 100,000 residents, opportunities expanded for businesses that employ 48,000 workers, and community-wide infrastructure and service improvements. Addressing homelessness remained one of our top priorities in 2022. With immense new funding opportunities available to prevent and end homelessness statewide, the city pursued encampment resolution grant funding in late 2021, receiving $1.8 million in March of 22. Vista was the only jurisdiction in San Diego County to receive funding in this first round. Vista welcomed leaders from the California Interagency Council on Homelessness in June to share our efforts to resolve homeless encampments. The City of Vista has created an award-winning homelessness outreach program centered around our Homelessness Outreach or HOT team. We've offered outreach services to more than 358 separate individuals living unsheltered on the streets of our city. We're building strong partnerships with Caltrans, the CHP, the California Interagency Council on the Homeless, and other regional partners to work to address and remediate encampments and to bring real solutions for those who live unsheltered on our streets. This year, the City of Vista will complete its safe parking pilot project, which will provide a safe place for those already living on the streets of Vista in their cars to help them connect with social services and help them complete their journey to permanent housing. Since 2020, the City of Vista has completed more than 3,259 outreach engagements with those living unsheltered on our streets. An average of seven conversations with every single person living unsheltered. It's important that our community understands that we've offered shelter to almost everyone living unsheltered on our streets and that no one is living unsheltered because of our failure to offer or provide those services. What's so incredibly important to me is that every citizen in the City of Vista understands that we are out daily with a large team now encompassing more than 10 outreach workers and we're offering shelter, we're offering motel beds and vouchers, we're offering the opportunity to reconnect with a driver's license so that somebody can get the medical help that they need, we're offering transportation to doctor's appointments, we're helping connect people at every level. There's nothing that's a reasonable accommodation that we could make to help someone exit from homelessness that we're not currently offering. It's time for us to move forward from offering these services to better serving those who are too mentally ill, like one of the people that we met with this morning, to accept the help that we're offering. It's a huge problem, and drug addiction and mental illness are preventing the majority of the people that we come into contact with from accepting the services we're offering. It's time for us to get real about new solutions to help the severely mentally ill. Caltrans has played an important role in addressing encampments. Through our partnership with Caltrans, we are cleaning up more encampments, and over the last 16 months, Caltrans has visited the right-of-way more than 120 times, collecting 2,500 bags of trash. Caltrans has renewed its commitment to beautifying Vista and preventing future encampments by securing state funding to improve and clean up important interchanges and install four-dimensional cut-resistant fencing. Since the adoption of Vista's strategic plan to address homelessness in 2020, nearly $3 million in contracts have been awarded to local nonprofit organizations, social workers, and the Alliance for Regional Solutions. One of our most impactful programs within the strategic plan is our Motel Voucher Program, which has provided 49 unsheltered individuals with 1,040 nights of shelter in the last year. Through the Alliance for Regional Solutions, Vista has contracted with Catholic Charities and Interfaith Community Services to maintain shelter beds. Vista is also proud of local shelter and nonprofit organization Operation Hope in North County, which supports women and families with shelter and other supportive services. Operation Hope, while a shelter, feels like a home and eliminates the stigma of shelter and those who seek it. We're here at Operation Hope, one of two shelters for women and families supported by the City of Vista. Let's go inside and meet Jimmy Figueroa, the Executive Director. 
Hey, Jimmy. Thanks, Thanks for having Operation me today. Hope. Yeah. Absolutely. Jimmy, how many years has Operation Hope been in uh, operation? So we're going on 20 years. This is our 20 year anniversary. Um, we started in 2003. Uh, we came to this location in 2013. And in 2016, we converted from a winter shelter to a 24 seven year round shelter. And Operation Hope and the City of Vista have a, a history that's very closely intertwined. We wouldn't exist um, and we won't exist without the help of our community. Um, Operation Hope is here because of our faith-based organizations, because of the local small business community, because of the corporations, because of the city of Vista, uh, and because of folks that um, want to help. If it wasn't for contributions, volunteers, um, partnerships and donations, um, Operation Hope wouldn't be here, and we won't be here um, w without that support. Well, we're committed to making sure Operation Hope is here and is able to expand its mission to help our community for many years to come. Jimmy, Thank thanks you, for having Appreciate us today. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. In addition to addressing homelessness, VISTA has worked to stabilize our most vulnerable families and individuals through our housing and community development programs. The city's rental assistance program provided more than 100 VISTA households with rental assistance, and our homelessness prevention program supported more than 60 families with $150,000 in vital funds to pay security deposits, first month's rent, and emergency rental payments. VISTA is committed to helping residents stay in their homes and preventing homelessness. In 2022, the city received national attention in recognition of our efforts in addressing homelessness. We continue to seek state and federal resources to help VISTA's families in need. There are 11 affordable housing communities in VISTA, providing 774 affordable apartments and mobile homes for low-income families. The city welcomed new affordable housing community Paseo Artist Village in 2022. The Paseo Artist Village is a transit-oriented, mixed-use affordable development with 60 apartments intended for artists, veterans, and VISTA residents earning between 30 and 59% of the area median income. From resolving encampments to facilitating shelter and housing, VISTA is committed to addressing and preventing homelessness. Another major milestone in the City of VISTA's affordable housing program was achieved in October with the opening of the Paseo Artist Village. In the heart of Paseo Santa Fe, this mixed-use project welcomes VISTA residents, artists, and veterans. Let's go inside to meet one of the residents to find out what this project means to them. I was in the military. You were? Uh, I, I thought you, the, maybe you were. I was in the Army. I, I, I actually was in the Coast Guard, and um, they discovered I can't swim. Mm -hmm. so they kicked <laughs> me out, and I went into the Army. That's wonderful. Well, thank you for your service to our country. Gracias. Uh, you know, when this project had not yet come off the drafting table and they said we're going to have a project for artists, I said, that's great. I said, uh, we have a, you know, we have some homeless veterans in our community. And I said, I hope that we can give veterans the same preference that we give artists. Tell me what the Paseo Artist Village means to you. That is a fabulous question. Um, I am not sure I would yeah. have a place to live. I'm pretty sure I would be in my car, though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of people here in Vista that are living in their cars, unfortunately. We're working to address that, too. I have some family members that are living in their cars. Yeah. Tell me about some of your favorite aspects of living here at Paseo Artist Village. I like being able to come and go as I please. I like being able to know that if I leave and come back, everything is the way I left it because there's the security gate there. Um, it's a fairly safe building. There's lots of stuff to see here. There's lots of stuff, places to eat if you're into that sort of thing. The walkability factor here is really, really good. Well, Addie, thank you very much for Absolutely. inviting us into your home today. Absolutely. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Vistans expect quality facilities and community services. And last year, the city didn't fail to deliver. The city's public works department, community improvement team, and downtown ambassadors led a valuable beautification effort. But Vistans like Jovita Serafin and her group Guerreros in Acción are also unafraid to roll up their sleeves and get their hands dirty, committing to keep Vista clean themselves. Keeping our promise to beautify Vista, more than 1,000 shopping carts were removed from public spaces and more than 1,300 bags of trash and 500 bags of recycling were also collected. Citywide, 6,600 incidents of graffiti were abated, five bathrooms and 37 utility boxes were repainted. 
A major milestone in beautifying Vista is the construction of Palo Vista Park, which will provide meaningful and accessible outdoor recreation opportunities for the surrounding community. I know it doesn't look like much today, but behind me is a one acre parcel that the city of Vista purchased several years ago and will soon open as the newest park in our collection. Here at Civic Center and Palo Vista Drive, the community was involved in every step of the process, deciding which amenities to include, including giving the park its brand new name, Palo Vista Park. Palo Vista will be the city of Vista's 18th park. This once neglected piece of land will be a major jewel on the entryway to our city. I hope you'll join us later this year as we celebrate the grand opening. Vista delivered critical infrastructure improvements last year, including sewer and storm drain improvements and the repair of 170 city-owned streetlights, resulting in an annual savings of $150,000 on streetlight electricity costs. Pedestrian facilities are a big priority in Vista, which continues to use community development block grant funding and state funding to construct new sidewalks in neighborhoods that lack this infrastructure. Our engineering division designed and constructed more than 4,000 square feet of new sidewalks and upgraded seven pedestrian ramps for Americans with Disability Act compliance. The city's fleet received 18 new vehicles, including three new dump trucks and other passenger vehicles, ensuring the city delivers on its commitments to residents and businesses. More than 150 trees were planted on city-owned property, contributing to our important tree canopy priority. City parks benefited from new enhancements like the CalSense irrigation controllers installed at Thibodeau Park to conserve water the $1 million replacement of turf at the Vista Sports Park, and new slides at the Luz Duran Park and Vista Sports Park. The Moonlight Amphitheater welcomed 110,000 attendees last year. More than 8,000 spectators enjoyed the Independence Day event, and the city introduced the new Jingle Terrace Live holiday event, incorporating a special light display, a maker's market, and classic holiday films and fair. The city's partnership with the Moonlight Cultural Foundation has helped ensure this success. An essential community resource, the Gloria McClellan Senior Center provided nourishment, education, and entertainment to Vista seniors, delivering 24,000 meals and providing 5,000 shuttle trips, welcoming 7,500 visitors. The city's youngest residents enjoyed city services too, as more than 1,500 children participated in summer camps at Bringle Terrace Park and 500 attended early childhood classes. The Wave Water Park welcomed more than 500 campers during summer camp programming and 32,000 people visited the water park during the summer. Vista introduced two new murals and six new Kites Over Vista installations, highlighting residents' creativity and passion for beautifying their community. A valued community resource located in the Greater Civic Center complex, the Vista branch of the San Diego County Library was also renovated by the city last year. The facility is owned by the City of Vista and operated by the San Diego County Library System. Improvements were made to the facility's roofing, exterior, and landscaping. As the world emerges from the COVID-19 pandemic and adjusts to a new way of life, Vista's businesses continue to thrive, contributing to the city's current low unemployment rate of just 3.8%. The Vista Business Park boasts more than 900 companies and an historically low vacancy rate of 1.3%. Haro Bikes, which designs and develops its bikes right here in Vista, is one of the business park companies with an international reach. We're here today at Haro Bikes, a legend in the bike business. They've made their home in the business park for more than 20 years. Let's go inside and meet them. Hey, I was going to ask you, have you had any experiences working with the City of Vista? Yeah, we've, we've been with the Chamber of Commerce here and we hosted them recently um, to unveil the showroom. So the showroom's only been open since um, April of last year. So all your products are designed here and they're all finally assembled here in Vista? And yeah, so we do all of our product development here in-house. Um, the company has grown significantly like crazy. Um, I think Vista's kind of a, a hidden gem for action sports. It's kind of a place for action sports people to almost retire because they could be so close to the mayhem of action sports and the beach and the skate parks in San Diego, the SoCal lifestyle. There's secret skate parks all around here oh, yeah. at people's properties. <laughs> Bob, people like Bob Brinkwist, Tony Hawk, Steve Caballero, these icons move to Vista, move to the hills of Vista, 
to get away just enough to be in the culture still. We have it all right here in mm -hmm. Vista. Yeah, you definitely do. That's great. Well, mm -hmm. thanks for having us today. Really appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Thank you very much. Vista welcomes both large and small businesses. Last year, the city awarded $1.5 million to small businesses that were affected by the pandemic and waived special and film permit fees using funding allocated by the American Rescue Plan Act. 300 new businesses were granted licenses in 2022, including Every Table, Steel Mill Coffee, Handles Ice Cream, CoLab, and many more. Looking ahead in 2023, Vista anticipates the opening of hundreds of new businesses. Hey, I'm John Franklin, the mayor of Vista. I'm honored to be here today with Joe Deutsch, the founder of CoLab in Vista, where we have three breweries and a winery and a burger restaurant all under one roof. It's an innovative concept of collaboration. Joe, tell us a little bit about it. I came together from being at a brewery every once in a while, being at a winery every once in a while, and with any group of people, uh, you're bound to have one that wishes that they were at the other. Uh, a lot of times you don't have food at those kind of places, and so we wanted to kind of bring all of that together to make wow. sure that uh, you had variety, you had selection, you had what you wanted. It's all high quality product and uh, with amazing food. Now tell me how it's been working with the City of Vista. The City of Vista has been amazing. Uh, way above and beyond what we could have expected. Uh, we, we knew that Vista was brewery friendly. Um, but what we learned is that Vista's aggressively seeking new businesses and innovative That's concepts. Right. Uh, they, you know, every every time we needed something, we would contact someone at the, the planning department, economic development, whatever it was, and it was an instantaneous response. I'm really glad to hear that. Yeah, yeah, it, almost everything we wanted was, was, we were able to do, and they were really agreeable. That's awesome. Well, this is an innovative concept here on the Hops Highway in Vista and we invite everybody in Vista to come down, have one of Baby's Burgers, have a glass of wine or a, a beer here from one of our three local breweries. Cheers to Vista and to CoLab. Amen. Yeah. All right. We continue to grow and to meet development needs, the city's community development department worked swiftly to issue and close out nearly 2,500 permits last year. The city permitted 240 housing units, including eight single-family dwellings, 55 accessory dwelling units, two mobile homes, and 175 apartments. My top goal as your mayor is to keep Vista safe and clean. To maintain public safety, the San Diego Sheriff's Department worked to enhance community connections through programs like the Sheriff's Spanish Academy, also known as Academia del Alguacil, and community meetings held in Spanish. In 2022, deputies responded to 32,416 calls for service, a decrease of 200 compared with 2021. Last year, the Vista Unified School District, in partnership with the City of Vista, restored school resource officers. I proudly advocated for the return of school resource officers, and the council voted unanimously to restore our partnership with VUSD to keep Vista's students safe in our schools. Volunteers also play an essential role in maintaining public safety in Vista. Last year, 22 volunteers in the Sheriff's Senior Volunteer Program contributed more than 10,000 hours of service to our community. The Sheriff's Department hosted many community events in 2022, including two catalytic converter engraving opportunities at North County Ford and Norm Reeves Honda, 15 neighborhood watch meetings, and the National Night Out. In the fall, we welcomed the return of the Junior Deputy Program at Linda Rhodes Rec Center, which was made possible through grant funding from the Department of Justice. The Vista Fire Department is essential to keeping Vista safe, and I'm proud of the department's work in 2022. The department responded to 16,401 incidents last year and conducted 55 fire investigations. In addition to fire and incident responses, the department conducts important inspections, performing nearly 1,000 fire life and safety inspections, 2,256 weed abatement parcel inspections, and 372 new construction inspections last year. Vista's fire department values community engagement. More than 3,000 children and adults were engaged through presentations and public education opportunities in 2022. The city's code enforcement division manages incidents and cases that are in violation of the city's municipal code. Last year, our code enforcement team issued nearly 13,500 parking citations, completed 5,700 field inspections, and addressed nearly 900 cases of blight. Code enforcement works hand in hand with the San Diego Sheriff's Department, Vista's Fire Department, and our other city divisions. Together, they're prioritizing our safety and improving VISTA for residents, visitors, and businesses. 
Each year, the city manager's office oversees general government activities ranging from grant writing and city finances to information technology. Notable grant highlights from 2022 include the funding of approximately $10,000 to provide comprehensive cancer screenings to Vistas firefighters, $65,000 to support the startup costs of the city's safe parking program, and nearly $2 million in encampment resolution funding. Vista is proud to have also secured state funding to support the construction of a new soccer arena at the Boys and Girls Club of Vista. The installation of 30 electric vehicle charging stations throughout the city, the conversion of the existing sheriff's substation at Luz Duran Park into a community center, and the construction of a new sheriff's substation at Vista Village Drive. These investments were made in part by the advocacy of the city's elected officials and state representatives. In the last year, Vista has focused on detailing future financial commitments and diversifying our financial reserves to service them. These efforts improve the city's ability to respond to economic fluctuations and strengthen our financial foundation for a thriving future. Vista remains committed to financial responsibility, especially when it comes to keeping our promise to our employees to fully fund pension obligations. Last year, we identified and acted on the opportunity to increase the yield on our existing investment portfolio by transferring funds to our 115 Pension Trust Fund. Not only did this mean greater investment income for the city, but also strengthened our commitment to fully funding our pension obligations, all while maintaining our emergency reserves within the Government Finance Officers Association recommendation. Thanks for allowing me to share this snapshot of all of our accomplishments with you in 2022. As your mayor, I know that Vista will continue to be a leader in our county, region, and state. In reflecting on nearly six decades, let's celebrate what makes Vista unique. It's the people, the place, and the vibe. As our mission statement reads, the City of Vista is dedicated to providing exceptional services, improving the quality of life, and enhancing the uniqueness of our community. The state of our city is strong and our quality of life is vibrant. We are poised for long-term financial success and are thriving as a city today because of the collaboration of our city council, our staff, business leaders, community partners, and hundreds of volunteers. Together, we are VISTA.